Good morning from Yami Bay TV. Wishing you all well. Sending loads of love to you all as usual. Now fresh from shaking a leg yesterday. Um, I went to a garage too. Yeah, it was like back in the day. Everyone was in there. Gordon Bennett. The vibe was proper good in there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those ones where everybody was on the same tip, mate. Nobody gives a monkeys apart from enjoying yourself. That's what I like to see, man. Bless up to all that was there, especially all the young ones as well. You looked out for Uncle Yami, yeah? Yeah, we rate your ting, Uncle Yami. <laughs> right, listen, I then I got in, right? I fell asleep and I woke up a little bit for the Crawford, um, the Spence Crawford fight. I couldn't believe, I was in and out of it, because I was sleeping on the set E, right? I was in and out of it. I couldn't believe it. I played it back um, this morning again when I woke, woke up. I couldn't believe how um, Crawford dealt with him so easy. I couldn't believe it. Gordon Bennett, mate, a stoppage, you know? Spence, man. And I mean, I was listening to what Tarfa was saying. I would expect you to put up more of a fight than that. He looked drained to me. One of you said it already, well spotted. Didn't look right. But you got done, mate. It was a masterclass by Crawford. Now, look, Philip Curry, who we know, where everybody tells you was the greatest prison officer of all time, right? His book is now on the shelf, right? Um, um, the life story of a man who travelled with all the cat A's and been to a lot of prisons, um, Long Light and Parkers. Some of the things in that book, right? And I, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's probably the, the best ever um, insight um, we've all the stories that you've ever asked for in this book, right? So, from starting, right, so the Parker's escape, he was there. Bronson, when he got stabbed by the, the pond, right? That's in there. Um, the Brinks map, he met all of them, Mickey McAvoy, etc., etc. He breaks down that. Now, he lifts the lid on really... Um, what happened in the Long Larton riots. He also talks about Victor Castigators, the eyewitness there for his final hit when he killed that geezer in the workshop, right? Rest in peace, Victor Castigator. He talks about some all the hardest men, in his opinion, all around the country. Wow. Sadly, he also breaks down, you know, that dreaded illness um, that's not beyond anybody really of cancer, beating it the first time, it coming back again. And you know what I mean? The way that he's put himself out there, you know, to help others who have suffered similar things or family members and people that can resonate and relate to having um, that illness, right? So it's very, very sad as well. And talks about his family, misses, um, and all the men, really. You ain't gonna get a better insight of knowing all the men you've ever asked about um, out of his own mouth, man. And he could only talk that talk there because he had relationships um, with all those men. They all loved him. So what does it speak about the man himself? I'm looking to get a part two um, story with Uncle Phil soon, man, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, 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 I'm gonna come back up later, and we go live tonight, uh, where we break down more, more stuff, all right, so, yeah, have a good Sunday, the sun's just come out, gonna go and get some breakfast, love you loads.